good afternoon ladies and gentlemen my colleague uh, ragunandan rao respected uh, vice chancellor professor praveen rao distinguished awardees tabasti mr shah sir ram kondinya invitees i i look after the second part of this agriculture chain which is uh, processing agro processing food processing and uh, i would like to supplement some of the things which uh, honorable minister mentioned my colleague uh, ragunandan mentioned i remember i had come to this platform earlier also i am not able to recall which year was it because due to pandemic we have lost the sense of time but whenever it was perhaps it was 2 years ago i had mentioned that uh, processing is important because at that time we were all working towards a very important national goal which was to double farmers income and uh, i remember in that on that day i had made a point that we are just not able to do that though it has been a goal of the previous upa government the present nda government states want to do that but we are not really able to achieve because the value capture is not happening at the level of the producers value capture happens elsewhere the traders the retailers and higher level processors and so on and so forth so at that time i had mentioned all these things but today the thing which i would like to mention is that in telangana we have figured out the solution for it how does one do the value capture at the level of the producers what what kind of processing opportunities are there primary processing secondary processing and uh, there are certain points which the minister himself mentioned that uh, we have come up with a very innovative very business friendly and a very farmer friendly food processing policy so please do look it up it's there on our uh, invest telangana website invest.telangana.gov.in you can see the entire text of this food processing policy and tomorrow incidentally we are have, having a seminar uh, at 3 o'clock at taj deccan in which we are uh, decoding what is there in the food processing policy how does one benefit and so on and so forth but if you read the policy document which is there on our website that itself will be quite uh, self explanatory but if you are interested do show up in the seminar that's happening tomorrow at uh, 3 o'clock at taj deccan where we will give you lots of explanation on how does one uh, encourage you to set up that industry we have done a very thorough mapping of all the food and agriculture products which are grown in our state which are grown in neighboring states which also you can bring in and do the processing and uh, which are the zones that we are creating as honorable mention, uh, minister mentioned we are setting up special food processing zones the intention is to set up at least one zone in each of the 10 erstwhile or nine erstwhile districts minus hyderabad district but eventually we will do more and these will be large uh, food processing zones our honorable chief minister as you know always believes in scale and he was telling us that no no food processing zone should be less than 1000 acres but we are making a beginning with 500 acres and above and these will be self contained zones not only will you have opportunities for processing uh, units there but we will also have uh, common facilities like uh, warehousing testing certification some of the opportunities will be created specifically for farmer producers organizations women self help groups msmes and so on and so forth and there is a scheme of incentivizing uh, processors people who set up these processing units depending upon the kind of local sourcing they are doing so if they source more of the agro commodities food commodities from telangana we will be giving them uh, lots of incentives we are also creating a completely new channel a new track for people who can process and export in fact uh, one of the reason i got delayed was that in the morning uh, our chief secretary had kept a meeting with all the major exporters of the state and there were quite a few of them who are into exports of rice and uh, fruits etc etc and they raised many issues and the chief secretary also felt that this is one area where we need to do much more and uh, again that is uh, something which we will be working on for uh, for for the coming future Uh, <clears throat> oil palm is another uh, very big opportunity that we see in fact uh, my colleague uh, agriculture secretary and i have been given this mandate to ensure that we become i mean the again i mentioned about scale the scale at which we want to cultivate oil palm and convert that into uh, palm oil is uh, unimaginable eventual goal is to do 20 20 lakh acres over the next 3 uh, to 4 years so uh, very uh, bold kind of uh, activities are starting in telangana they are being kicked off through a good policy a very good uh, extension system as uh, 
uh, Raghunandan mentioned about uh, agriculture extension officers for every 5,000 acres. And, but most importantly, eventually none of this will happen if there is no partnership from the private industry, from the entrepreneur. So this is a great time to be in Telangana, look at Telangana and uh, make best use of these opportunities. So I'm very sure that all the awardees, uh, of course, you are heavily into this kind of work, but you will also spread the word, you will motivate others to get into this sector. And together, the national dream of uh, doubling farmers' income, we can make that happen in Telangana and show this to the rest of the country, rest of the world. My congratulations to all the lifetime awardees, all the rest of the awardees who are going to receive this award. And uh, please uh, stay connected. Best wishes to all of you. Thank you.